Okay, there's nothing wrong with this video. It's because we're outside in the dark with our first night vision. So this actually shows up really good on the camera. That is Hunter with his night vision on right there. Those dots looking at you, which are creepy. They look kind of pink on the camera. They're not in person. Hunter, what's your illuminator on? Three. Turn it down to zero. So right now his hour is down to, that's on zero? Yeah. Turn it on one. So yeah, it actually shows up way better on the camera than it actually does in person. So for me, it's actually hard to see, but I can two, I can see two red eyes looking at me, or the two red illuminators, which looks like eyes. I'm just gonna get a different angle. Motion light just came on. It's not totally dark out here yet. Yeah, so here it makes it look like he's standing out like a sore thumb. Um, but what we just discovered is, is when I take mine and look at him. So, there we go. All right, so this is what I see through my night vision. And when his illuminator is on, it looks like he's shining a flashlight at me. Hunter, turn your illuminator off. And there he is. And it's still shining a flashlight on zero at me. Yep. And so to him, it looks like I'm shining a flashlight at him. All right. Hey, so. Do this. Turn your illuminator all the way off of the armament. Yeah, turn it all the way down past zero. And let me have mine on one. And so the button's on the right. Turn it all the way down. So now my illuminator is totally off. Now look at that thing. <sighs> Nothing. Let me say, look at me. Are you looking at me? Yeah. Yeah, I see nothing. You don't see a flashlight? I see absolutely zero. Okay, well, mine was showing up like a light. Oh, my strap, sorry. My straps keep flopping over top of it. Okay, so on zero, yes, I have. Uh, there you are. Yep. Yeah. So even with mine on zero, all I see is two white dots. All right, you stay there, and I'm going to go over here and video what the what the sight mark laser sight does. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm gonna turn my illuminator back up. Sorry if we keep taking the camera away. All right. So, it's kind of hard to video, but so through mine, we're running off, my illuminator's on low. So that dot is the sight mark infrared laser. So that's what you would actually be shooting by and let me see, from this perspective, let's see if I can see it downrange. Okay, point the laser at me. Well, all I see is you looking at me, so I can't tell anything. So turn your illuminators off and let me see if I can see the laser. Not that you, not that you would use it that way, Yeah, so it actually, it actually does. You have to point it, hey, I can actually see the beam a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So this is very useful if you're, just to give you an idea. Hunter, turn your illuminator off. Okay, so that's Hunter. Yes, he's not wearing any clothes, hardly. And this is what it actually looks like. Total darkness. There's Hunter against the building. You can make out the rifle, his shoes, the fact he's not wearing a shirt on, $180 night vision, and here he is gone. So, they do work. One complaint I do have is the clarity actually looks better on the camera. To me, and it may just be my eyes, the focus on this pair doesn't seem near as good as the focus on the pair Hunter's using. But as you can see, it's all around us. Now everything's close. We're talking within 50 feet. But here's without it. Same camera path. Nothing. And there we go. And that's on our Illuminator 1, which I wish I can get, I wish I can get my hand over here. So let me walk over here a little bit. 
Uh, I got a clear shot across the woods. Okay. So that's on one, two, there we go. All the way up to seven. Hunter, turn yours up to seven and look at me. Let me see what it looks like. So, as you can see, on seven, which eats your battery pretty quick. But now, that, that van is probably mm, 200 feet away. And you can make it out. So, pretty effective. If you had the laser, you could definitely target something that far away. All right, Hunter's about to die. So me on seven and him on seven, it actually looks like we're pointing spotlights at each other. But to the eye, all I see is two little red dots, which is noticeable. Um, I'm gonna see how far away I can see them right now. Yeah, okay. Again, we're on infrared level five. So as you can see, Hunter's in front of that van, which is the dark with the reflectors right there. And it looks like he's shining a light at me. Okay, so you can very easily spot him with the uh, night vision. Take it away, let it focus. And there he is, which looks, I can't tell you how much of a difference it is um, in person. I wish the camera would pick it up. It's, uh, it's extremely faint, even though it looks pretty bright in here. I mean, I can see some red dots. He's about 200 feet away. I can distinguish that there are two of them, but it really looks like a creepy set of red eyes. Um, you know, see in the, in the camera, it kind of really pops, but if you weren't looking for it, I don't know that you would see it. Hey, go ahead and move looking at me. It's amazing how the camera picks it up. For me, like, I can see it, but it's it's not real easy. So, there's our illuminator. It's about six inches long on the end of our 300 blackout. It is a, only a momentary switch. We've got it mounted on the top rail at a 45-degree angle so it doesn't obstruct the optic. And we've got a white light on the bottom. It, uh, it sits a little high, so when we put it on the top rail mounted straight, you could see it through our Tacticon red dot, which is the only sight on this gun because this is built to be a nighttime gun. Um, Lord willing, we'll never get to use it. Unless we're shooting coyotes or something. So, we're gonna figure out how to, we'll put a link. Oh, there's the box. Let me just walk around the house right there. So, what do we have? It is the Night Fox Swift. Instructions. And here's the actual unit itself. We have the IR illuminators on the right hand side. And here you got digital zoom, which isn't great. Um, Here's the power button. I don't remember what this button right here does. What does this button do, Hunter? Top one. That zooms oh. in. That does your uh, backlighting. Backlighting. That was it. Yeah. On how bright you want your screen. Um, there's the two illuminators that look like eyeballs on each side of the camera here and here. Um, these do not have the record function, I don't think. There's your focus wheel. Night Fox Edition. The ones that take a card, it slides in underneath where that mount. For people curious about the mount, because that's the main reason I bought these, because they're mountable. Um, otherwise, I probably would have went with a different brand. That screw comes all the way out, and this slides off. Basically, that's like a dovetail rail. And these, let's see here. I actually haven't messed with this. So it's just got a slot to charge it right there, not a no place to put a card. 
the other company I was looking at actually had a card, but they had no way to mount it. And so I bought these for the sole purpose that you could mount them. Because this is more or less like a, a GoPro action camera type of mount. And the ones made for tactical helmets, which is the future goal of this little project. And we can get rid of these, even though they work quite well. Um, Hunter does real well walking around with these. It really messes with my depth perception, but because I can't see good anyway, my depth perception's not great. So they fit good to the face. You can't see any light around them. Um, if you wear glasses, which I normally do, but I've got contacts, I'm not sure how they would do with glasses. There you can see your screen. There we go. So you turn it on, it tells you your focus. The actual illuminator's off, so they do work in the daytime. I don't know why you would want to use them in the day, but it doesn't require the illuminator to work. And you can turn it off. So overall, for the price, I'm very happy. It's effective. I think I don't know that much about night vision, but I know if uh, somebody that wanted to do your harm or take your stuff also had night vision, I don't know if these would look like a flashlight like they do at each other. I don't really know that. Um, so that would be a distinct disadvantage because you would stick out like a sore thumb. But in our mind, for security purposes, these are for people that don't have night vision. Um, again, Lord willing, nobody will ever come for us with night vision on. And hopefully they'll only be used to locate coyotes and that kind of stuff, nuisance animals, and never be used for other purposes. There are my thoughts.